Greenwich, how are we doing? Yeah. All right, let's start you off with some good news then. I've recently lost 15 pounds yeah. on a gym membership I will never use. <laughs> Gotta make a bit of an effort to better yourself, I think, when you look like the answer to the question, what if Jack Black and Kurt Cobain had a kid? <laughs> It's always been like that for me. Ever since I was young, I have always struggled fitting in because I spent the majority of my life in foster care, right? I was brought up in a foster home in Scotland, so uh, my experience was less Tracy Beaker, more a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> and foster parents, they always get this really bad rep in the media, don't they? They're either the evil stepmother or the serial killer stepfather. You know the worst thing my foster parents did to me, mate? Forced me to play Monopoly every weekend. Can you imagine that? Making a group of vulnerable foster kids compete over housing? <laughs> and send them to jail if they made a mistake. <laughs> ah, but that story does have a happy ending because I got adopted and then my dad decided to bring us out to Dubai. Has anyone here ever been to Dubai before? <laughs> All right, what did you think of it? It was what, sorry? Well good, it is well good, you know. Dubai is a really beautiful city. I can't really slag it off too much. Aesthetically, somewhere between Star Trek and Aladdin, but <laughs> politically between Henry VIII and Handmaid's Tale. I felt so bad for the teachers, most of all, in those private schools. Can you imagine having to teach a group of five-year-olds that can already count to a million because it's their pocket money that week? <laughs> it's absolute insanity. But then I grew up, I came back to the UK. I am now a queer autistic comedian. Yeah. Or as Twitter likes to say, mate, a brave, inspiring role model. <laughs> I mean, I think the only thing brave about me is that, see, in Scotland, I live in this town called Renfrew, and for anyone who's never been to Renfrew, I'll sum it up like this. No other town in Scotland, nay, I think the world, do I think you can see a screaming heroin addict banging on about how they don't want a vaccine because they don't want to live their life controlled by a substance. <laughs> but enough about my gran, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> People always come up to me with that vaccine stuff, man. They'll come up to me and say stuff like, we don't want to vaccinate our kids because we might give them autism. But if that's true, what's going to happen when I take a vaccine? <laughs> Is this going to become my superhero origin story? I've seen the downfall of those Marvel movies. I want no part of that, but that made quite a great superhero, I think. Autism boy. <laughs> Leaps tall buildings in a single bound because he doesn't like being touched by strangers. <laughs> As you can obviously guess, though, I grew up extremely nerdy as well. You know, as a wee kid, I always wanted to be Spider-Man. Not heroic, though. I just fucking hated my uncle. <laughs> but those were not the only challenges I had growing up as a wee gay guy in Dubai, right? My biggest challenge was growing up with a Catholic dad and a Protestant mum. And my dad had this phrase that he used to drill into me when I was very young. Not like that, mate. Don't fucking worry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whenever he would see me upset, he would kind of boost his way over and go, oh, come on, cowboy up, son. So you can imagine his surprise when the cowboys I took inspiration from was Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Surprisingly, it wasn't even that hard having a Protestant mum in hiding I was gay. I could still shout, yas, queen, and yell Tina Turner at the top of my lungs. But you try so many of these things to try and fit in. The, the craziest thing that I tried when I was a teenager to fit in was trying skateboarding for the first time. Got any fellow skater boys here? You look kind of like the type, mate, huh? You've never skated before. <laughs> you should give it a try. It's really fun because skateboarding, it's the kind of thing that completely changes you, you know? Everything you say kind of becomes skate lingo. And I can remember this exact moment when I was very young and my mum was fucking raging when I came in late. She goes, where have you been all night? And I'm like, mum, I'm tired. Me and my friends have been out grinding all night. <laughs> There's even a video on the internet. I'll send you a link later. And I got grounded for that, mate. I got fucking grounded for that. And I was gutted. Because after months of trying, I'd finally managed to nail an ollie. And now I 
wasn't allowed to see him again. 